Yes. Okay, so it is Mascara Monday, and I have got the CYO Definition Mascara Divide and Rule. Okay, we're going to try this out. Okay. Um, it is kind of flat, but wide at the same time. So, I mean, and it looks like there's some, uh, product on the brush but not too much so we'll see um, it's it's kind of reminding me of the uh, flawless definition mascara from uh, bare minerals that I used for years and was okay oh I almost poked myself in the eye and I've got one crazy rogue lash there Okay, so, um, all right, my first thoughts are, this is kind of sticking my lashes together, and it's almost kind of making them look wet. So kind of like, if you cry and your eyelashes get wet, they tend to stick together. Okay, and this side is doing a lot better, so it, it might just be that more product needed to, to come off of this brush. Yeah, this eye is a lot better. So, um, I think with a mascara like this, which I want to say it was like $6, I ordered it on Walgreens.com. I haven't found CYO products in store of any Walgreens, and I had, there's a lot of Walgreens stores in my area. I live in the Chicago area. There we go, yeah. So it's separating a lot better once a lot of the product is off the brush. Okay, so for me... Uh, I would prefer a mascara that makes my lashes look a little bit bushier. This, although for a first impression, I, I think it's looking okay. Oops, I forgot to do my lower lashes. What am I thinking? All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do for my lower lashes is I'm actually going to wipe off a lot of the product from the brush. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so we got some off of there. So yeah, I feel like this one's not bad. Um, honestly, if... I would recommend this for like young girls start woo poke myself in the eye that are just getting started with makeup. It just looks like I, I could see this like being good for like if you let your girl your daughters wear makeup in high school or whatever. Um, I could see it being good for something like that. Like a nice school type makeup mascara yeah and then like I'm putting a little bit extra on or another layer and it's looking nice yeah this I would consider this like a natural type mascara can you see that hopefully you guys can see that so um as a first impression this is not bad at all about six dollars it's probably worth about six dollars but um, if I'm being completely honest I would recommend um, the, oh, I don't have it anymore, I don't think, um, the Broadway Colors <sighs> Volumizing Mascara in the Red Tube from Dollar General Stores. That one is a really good, just everyday, natural-ish, yet still providing volume and definition type of mascara and if I had to choose I would choose that over this especially since you have to order this online if you order stuff from Walgreens all the time and you don't care about that then drop it in your cart I think it's worth the six dollars but the Broadway colors one is about a buck cheaper and you can just run to the store and pick it up so okay so thank you guys so much for watching I will update my thoughts in the description below I'll talk about whether it's smudged or flaked or whatever and don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye